Hello everyone. So in this video I'm going to go over uh, killing bombardiers. As you see top left of my screen, kill bombardier beetle 05. I'm going to get five kills in this in the uh, in this video. Um, I already have a video using arrows, which does work, but this one is going to be me doing with the mint mallet. So I've got ladybug, uh, full set of ladybug armor on, my preferred fighting armor. The mint mallet because it gives a good chance for stun. There are other weapons you could use that have more speed, but for this I'm going to use this thing as well as I have a bunch of healing smoothies in case I need it, and some human food smoothies which give damage resist. I could also have some liquid rage smoothies which give you more attack damage, but those use spider fang daggers, so I'm not really going to use those too much, but I will put the recipe for both those smoothies, human food and rage, liquid rage, in the description below. So here we go. We already saw a little spider poke its head around. So we're going to deal with some orb weavers. I'm not too worried about them. I'm just going to walk up to them though. I'm just going to walk out of that thing because grab all that. We're going to deal with the second one. There are two uh, orb weavers here. Now, recently, one of my uh, bombardiers in this area died to some spike strips. So that's why we have to go and to a third location in this video later on. We're going to start here with the one that I know is here. So let's see if we can't figure out where this bombardier is. I can hear him right here. So before I actually round the corner, there he is. As you can see, this is where I'm out on the map. The northeastern corner right here where these rocks are. This is where there's typically two war weavers and two bombardiers. The locked berry lab is up there. You see I have some stairs built up to it. This bombardier is right here and it's ready for a fight. I'm just gonna walk up to it and start swinging. I'm gonna keep moving mindful of that because he just triple fired that acid attack but with the mid mount I can stagger him before he's ready to fight again I've knocked him out so that's, that is the useful part of that I'm just gonna smack that because that's food you know turn that into jerky and I will just double check to make sure that the second one is still in fact not respawned and the reason he died is right there to include a ladybug, so spike strips, if you put them in the right spots, uh, like this where the, the animals have to go over all of these strips, it will kill them. So now I'm going to pause the video while I move into position for the next two, uh, sorry, the next three kills, and uh, I'll be back in just a moment. All right, and we're back. So you see I am up on the corner of the porch. I use my little base I have built over there. Bridge, it comes down, drops me right there. And if you look down on the bottom left of the screen, you see three bombardiers. Obviously, I don't want to fight all three of them at the exact same time. That's very dangerous, but I'm going to make sure that that is equipped. And I'm going to jump down there and mess with them. So I can fight them one at a time. That would be advantageous for me. I just need to basically trigger one to come after me. There. All right, that was right there. All right, it's acid has stopped burning the ground. Just trying to keep an eye on where that went. There. He fired that right at himself. So you see it killed the little guy right in front of him. So drink a healing smoothie while he's stunned and get in there and finish the fight. So that's two out of five. Grab that little guy. Now, the trick is to try and pull one and just pull one. I've got one that's doing, I don't know what he's doing, a little shimmy. And I've got another one that's actually trying to fight me. Maybe if I can pull that one that's attacking me down. Or I'm just trying to separate them a little bit. I'd rather not fight them together. That's a uh, bad day right there. He's going to fire that right up in the air. And that one's going to fire right at me. So now I am actually fighting the two of them. And I did not want to do that. For that right there. Because they're going to be spitting that stuff everywhere. 
So I got one of them out quick. Thanks to Coup de Gras for a couple extra points of damage. Now it's just me one on one. I'm going to drink a healing smoothie to make sure my health stays near max. Now that's his melee attack, which doesn't hit too hard. The acid attack is what does the most damage. So now I'm at four out of five. Typically I would be at five out of five had the one up here not died to spike strips. So now we're going to go see Bob. Or at least go see if Bob's home. If Bob's home, we're going to end this video killing Bob for number five. So I'm going to pause while I get across the yard. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, and here we are back at my main base. And here's Bob fighting a soldier ant and being victorious thanks to his uh, acid attack. We will then go fight Bob in just a second. My main base is right here on the western end of the flower beds near these rocks. This rock is where my first base was, my first like main base was. I eventually did move it to here, neck onto the pylons, but this is a great base location to start. There are some, you know, bug concerns as far as what spawns underneath it. But right now, uh, I'm going to let Bob do his fighting. I want to fight Bob when he's full health. So we're just going to watch Bob fight his couple of soldier ants, which he's going to defeat easily. Um, I'll wait for his eyes to... Oh, now he's mad at me. I wouldn't mind bringing Bob right over here to fight away from... That spider. Oh, Bob's weak. I don't want to fight Bob when he's weak. Bob, that's not very fun. We're going to go hide from Bob so he can heal. Um, it would be an easy free kill, and I'm not looking for that for this video. So I'm going to come up here. Like I said, this is where my base was. But I'm going to pause and wait till Bob has uh, full health, and then we'll get after him in just a second. All right, so Bob is full health now. He just tried to attack me while I was checking his health. And you see he killed that grub next to him. His acid attack actually attacks whatever's under the ground, too. So I'm going to reheal a little bit because he did hit me. But he gave me uh, some grub skin stuff, so I don't want to step in that. But this is Bob the Bombardier. And he's the only one that gets a name because of his his proximity to my main base. Because for the while, longest while, this was the only base I had. But this is how you get quick, easy kills. Stay out of the acid. Uh... I drank out of 20, I've drank three of my smoothie plus, uh, you know, the smoothie question marks. I didn't drink any of the um, human food, which I could have, but I didn't. I didn't really need it. It was more necessary, I guess, for the uh, wolf spider because wolf spiders can do so much damage. But I just wanted to show that you don't have to use bow and arrow. You can just use your mid mount and go to town. Um, and there are there are more um bombardiers as well up here by on top of rake rock point as well as there's one that travels around here that there's two up here and one down here so there's three more right there as well in case you're struggling to find them but uh if you guys like this content would like to see more like it hit that like and subscribe button turn on the bell uh, for notifications i do stream five days a week on my youtube uh every monday tuesday wednesday friday and saturday starting typically between 3 30 and 4 p.m mountain time so you know so you can catch a stream stop by ask questions or just stop in to say hi. But until then, or until the next video, you guys have a good one.